Hey everyone, so today I have my December favorites to share with you guys and I'm super excited because December is like my favorite month of the year because it's my birthday month, it's Christmas, it's the last month of the year, I don't know, it's just like a good time for me. So I really enjoyed December and I have some really, really good products to share with you guys that I discovered and I did do a yearly favorites video of like my beauty products that I've loved all year so if you want to see that I'll link it down below but these are just the beauty and fashion things that I've discovered this month and you know want to share with you guys so if you like these favorite videos and want me to continue doing them over the next year in 2016 I can't breathe so if you enjoy favorites videos, don't forget to let me know by giving me a thumbs up and I will continue doing them throughout the year of 2016. But yeah, let's just get into it because I have some good stuff to share with you guys. Let's start with makeup because that's where I like to start. So the first thing I have to share with you guys that I've been loving this month is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I have been using this since... Maybe the second week of December I bought it, and I love it. First of all, Urban Decay eyeshadows are some of my favorite. They're always super, super pigmented, but not overly pigmented, and they're super, like, buttery, and then they have good matte shades, and they're just all around really good quality. And then this palette specifically, I just love the colors of them. So this is what it looks like, and it's super, super wearable, which is what I love about it. The first two rows down here are obviously very like everyday colors but then the bottom row which I guess is the top row for you but like the bottom row um, has a lot of fun colors that you can incorporate into your looks but they're not too crazy where you don't feel like you're never going to use them so it comes with like a really good matte black which is always really important a really cool yellowy lime kind of color which is actually really fun to put like on the center of your lid a really pretty blue and a fun pink which you don't see very often and the rest of the colors are super wearable for every day and I really love all these blending shades right in the middle. All the shadows in here are super super good quality wise and I don't know I just really like how it came together and I like how it has a really big mirror because I can just use this for my whole face when I'm doing it and I don't know it's just very very convenient. And then the outside packaging is also very cute and it's very like sturdy which I like so I'm really digging this. Next I picked up the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade medium and I'm pretty sure that's the only shade that they have so I was kind of worried about that but it's such a pretty contour shade because it is that kind of taupey cool tone brown it's completely matte and then you just put it right here and it looks super super natural it blends out really really well it's very compact so it's good for travel and stuff but I've just been really really liking this for contouring and I just I've, I've been digging it that's gonna be the phrase of the video digging it. Sticking with this whole highlight contour thing, I have a new favorite highlighter for the month and I've been really enjoying the Laura Mercier highlighter. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder, which I don't know why it's called matte because um, it's clearly like not matte so it's kind of confusing but it's super super good you need just the tiniest bit and you can just put it right here I'm wearing it today it's gonna last forever because you get so much product but I've just been really liking this just for like an everyday highlight and my last like makeup makeup favorite for the month of December has to go to my bare minerals stroke of light eye brightening concealer and I saw I think it was like goss makeup artists talk about this and rave about it so naturally I wanted it and I picked it up and I've been really liking it it's very similar to the Urban Decay Naked Concealer but this one's a little bit cheaper I feel like it might be like four or five dollars cheaper and I just kind of like the applicator better just because it's smaller so I feel like it can really be a little bit more precise and delicate with it and then it goes on so smoothly you just kind of tap it in and it just glides over your skin it's really really good and it really does brighten your under eyes because it has some like reflecting properties similar to the urban decay naked skin but I don't know I've just been really digging it why do I keep saying that Eyeliner, I have like one more and more makeup related favorite and that has to be my Morphe brushes that I purchased this month I made a pretty large order um, earlier in the month 
and I'm just obsessed with these brushes. They are so, so good. These are my face brushes that I have, and I have like a little bit of everything. And then I also have a lot of eyeshadow brushes, but I'm literally so impressed with all of them. They're all super, super soft, and I really like how they are cut, and they just apply makeup beautifully, and it kind of makes everything a little bit more effortless. And also, they're super, super affordable. Like, none of these brushes were over, like, $18 I think was the most expensive brush and I feel like it was this one maybe don't hold me to that though but yeah they're super super affordable and the shipping was pretty fast so that's really good and I've just been really liking them so if you've been on the fence about trying more of these brushes you should totally just go for it get a couple and you will not regret it let's move on to my skincare favorite for the month so I've been really loving the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm and I've actually been loving this since like November and I'm just gonna put it in my November favorites but I totally forgot this is something that my mom suggested I pick up I think we got it during the Sephora friends and family sale um, but she uses this all the time and like loves it so I decided to pick it up and it was super super interesting because it's literally like a balm like it's like a lip balm essentially but then you just take maybe a little like maybe a tablespoon amount of the product and you just rub it on your face and it turns into an oil and it takes off all your makeup even like waterproof mascara and it's kind of funny because by the time you're done taking off like your eye makeup you just look like you've been crying or something because there's like black everywhere but it literally gets every little bit of makeup off your face but at the same time it kind of nourishes your skin because it is an oil I believe it was $28 for this big old tub and I've been using it for probably a good like two months now and I've only used maybe a third of it so I think it'll last me a really long time and I've just been really enjoying it I have one hair care favorite and that has to go to my bamboo beach mango coconut refreshing dry shampoo and this is a powder dry shampoo which I kind of prefer because I feel like it gets the job done better and it feels a little less like gross in your hair because sometimes you can like overdo doing a spray and then your hair just feels kind of chunky in like a weird way that's not a good word for it but it feels it's like you have a ton of like hairspray or something in your hair and with this I feel like you know it's a little less detectable as long as you blend it in pretty well and it just gives you a lot of volume and I mean I used it today for my day two hair and I think it looks fine and it smells super super good it does smell like mango and coconut which I really like and I don't know, I've just been really liking it. You can get it at Ulta and I think you can get it at like Nordstrom. Um, it is a little bit pricier, but I've had this for probably a year now and I'm only like halfway through, so it does last a while. My next favorite for December has to be my Ciate London Mini Manny Month Advent Calendar thing this thing it's been sitting in the back of my videos right over there but it's been one of my favorites because my mom got it for me for December because she wanted to give me an advent calendar but like a cool one so this one is the one she got she got it from Sephora I believe and I just really liking it so on the inside it looks like this and it just looks like London with the little like double decker buses and everything and I think it's really really pretty and the best part about it is every day you've got a new nail polish and you got a ton of little different ones and then one big like full-size festive one it was definitely a good advent calendar and I really did enjoy opening like a new nail polish every day it was super fun moving on to fashion favorites the first one has to go to my new Ray-Bans I actually got these over Black Friday but I forgot to include them in my Black Friday haul but I got these from Nord um, when they were 30% off and these are the ones I've been wanting for forever they are the green lenses with the black frames and I just think they look really really cool um, they kind of make me look like a cop or something but like in a good way I don't know I've just been really liking them and I think they were totally worth the money my next fashion favorite is this shirt that I got from the loft it's a softened just plain kind of button-down shirt but it's a cool like plaid I've just been wearing this to work a lot for the past month because it is a good work shirt but it's also super comfy but it looks really really cute you can jazz it up with like a fun scarf or necklace or you know whatever you want to jazz it up with I've just been really liking it and if you're a working girl and you have to go to an office or something this is a good shirt to have and my last fashion favorite has to go to my new purse that I got 
this month. This is a Zach Posen bag that I actually got from Nordstrom Rack and it's like a refurbished item. So I got a really good deal on it, like 70% off. And I just think this is really, really pretty. I think it looks really chic. It has just a flap here and then all my junk is just inside of it. You can hold it, you know, on the crook of your arm like this or it also has a strap where you can just throw it over your shoulder, which is what I usually do. But it just holds all your stuff. It looks really cute. I'm really into navy bags right now. I feel like it just adds a little bit of something something to an outfit. Um, and it's not as like basic as a plain black bag. But I've just been really liking it. So if you want to see like a what's in my bag or something featuring this bag, let me know and I could totally do it. But yeah, go check out your local like Nordstrom Rack because you might find some really, really good deals. And finally, I have my wine favorite for the month, and it has to go to my festive Christmas wine. This is the Donner and Blitzen Chardonnay, and I actually got this at this like wine superstore that's in town. Literally, like one of the best things about Naples is that there's a ton of wine stores. I guess living in a town with like old rich people, they really like their wine, so it's like everywhere. Um, but yeah, I got this from a wine store and it was like $8 and it's just so festive and cute and it just makes me happy to look at and it also tasted pretty good. But it's really cute because up here it says like you'll love it but spelled like Hule Log and I don't know. It just makes me happy. Alright everyone, so I think that's everything for my favorites video this month. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check me out on social media. I have a Snapchat if you want to go check that out. Um, I don't snap too terribly often but you know if you want to see like my dog or something you can go check that out that'd be cool um but yeah that's everything for today i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later bye y'all